I'm Maura Hernandez and welcome to the Tortilla Test Kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to make papas gratinadas or Mexican potatoes au gratin. We're going to start with some white potatoes that we've already boiled, some onions, salt, a little bit of vegetable oil, and some serrano chilies. So to get started we're going to first heat some oil about a tablespoon and a half. So while we're waiting for the oil to heat up, we're just going to slice the potatoes that we've already boiled um, until they're soft or fork tender. And you're going to slice them about a little bit thicker than one quarter of an inch. We're going to slice up some onion and some serrano chilies. And we're just gonna saute them a little bit in the vegetable oil. Now that the oil is nice and hot, we're going to take the onions and the chilies that we sliced and we're going to just put them directly into the hot oil. And we're going to let them saute until they turn a little bit transparent and brown. We're just going to sprinkle the chilies and the onions with just a pinch of salt to season. Now that we've got our potatoes all chopped up and there's still a little bit of oil left from when we browned our onions and chilies, we're going to put the potatoes into the pan and we're just going to brown them just a little bit on each side. It'll give them just a little bit of crispness so that they're not soggy when we bake them. I've already prepared this casserole dish with just a little bit of pan cooking spray, something so that nothing will stick to the casserole dish once we pull it out of the oven and it's all ready to clean it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of crema mexicana and I'm just going to put it on the bottom of the dish and I'm going to start to transfer a layer of potatoes into the casserole dish. So now that we have our first layer of potatoes inside the dish, we're just going to take a little bit of the onion and chili and we're going to just spoon it over the top here. And then we're going to finish the layer with just a little bit of cheese. And if you can't find Chihuahua cheese, um, Monterey Jack is an okay substitute. But you should be able to find Chihuahua cheese in any Latin grocer or in uh, the international section if you have one um, with cheeses in your grocery store. So we've got just a little bit of cheese in there and we're ready to start another layer. Now you're just gonna go ahead and do this until you've got all of your potatoes layered into your casserole dish. We're going to put it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to stick it under the broiler just until the cheese on top is brown and bubbly. Rogaciano se llamaba Rogaciano el guapanque.